Okay, in this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to create this simple little object. It might be obvious to you, but if not, this is uh, channels like this are really important. In fact, I'm often trying to figure out a way to make a different type of channel that either direct smoke or direct particles, something like that. So surfaces are really important. And this has these nice beveled edges, but I didn't use the bevel tool initially to do it. So we'll do that. But before we get started, I wanted to point out one thing that's new in Blender 2.66 up in here that's really interesting. Notice when I press T to get the toolbar up like this, you know, this image moves over like that, makes space for that, or N the same way, or whoops, or T again over here, like this. Well, they have a new feature that's implemented, and there's some way you can control the transparency. I'm not sure how, but if you go to user preferences anyway, and you come over here and go into the system menu, right here you've clicked this region overlap button like this, and then when I, I'll just close it for a second, then when I press T, notice what happens is my object stays right there in the center. And if I press N, it stays there in the center. And so with this up like this, I'll bring them both up, and then I'll just move this. And also there's transparency, so when you move your object, you can move it back behind the scene like that. Pretty cool little feature. I haven't left it on permanently because sometimes I wait till they have the upgraded version, which is now out, which is 2.66a. But it seems to work fine in 2.66. And this trans somewhere you can change this transparency to make it more or less transparent. I'm not sure where that is. So, all right, well, that's that for that quick tip right there. But as far as this object is concerned, let's just start from scratch like usual. And I'll get rid of it and I'll re add a cube and turn it back into that green color. So instead of using the bevel property at the outset, yeah, I use the, the inset tool. So edit mode and then control F like this. And you have this inset faces tool like that. So I after that. So you could just sit in here and press I. So I'm going to press I here. And it, now sometimes it doesn't work on this one here. Okay, forget that. I'm going to escape that. I'll do it with the menu. Control F and then I inset faces. Okay, I must not be in face. No, I am in face select mode. Okay, let's let's just select a couple faces. All right, so now with these faces selected, I'm going to press I for the inset tool, and it kind of looks like the bevel tool, but not quite. But I'll move it like this. So I have three faces selected like that. So then from there, I'm going to go grab these interior faces like this, shift and click those, and press X and delete only the faces. And then I also have these edges that are left over that I should have gotten rid of so I'll get rid of those edges too with X and edges like this well so there's a little bit of an issue right here that we don't have these faces covered up but that's easy enough you just go into vertex mode and you just grab these vertices one two three four and press F and fills it in and then one two three four press F fill that in and do it with this one as well and fill that in like that. Okay, so now I'm going to select everything. Now I'm going to try and use the bevel tool with my control B to make the nicer edges because this is the beginning of my channel so I could scale that. So control B I use whoops and, and there it is but notice it gets down all through those edges. Not quite what I'm looking for the way it's changing that channel down like that. So I'm going to escape that. I'm going to control Z that. It's making the edges beveled, but I don't want it. Instead, I'll use the modifier and I'll grab the bevel modifier. And you can see immediately it just bevels it nicely how I want with these cool edges. Of course, there's my channel with the nice softer edges and then I can scale the whole object like this and then have my little channel. So it's, um, yeah, it's a cool little tool and every little bit helps because you know creating your models is a crucial part of working with Blender. A lot between vertex groups and the shapes of your models, it's really, really important for a lot of the special effects. Okay, well that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.